Hi, y'all. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Oh my God, it took me forever to get up in here. Hi, uh, Chi Chi, Tiaz, Vita Jones, Collectively Speaking Chosen One, and welcome, Rich Bosses, okay, to the Tipper Love membership. All right, that membership is all about not communicating who watching y'all, y'all ex reading, Ten of Pentacles. But anyway, <laughs> somebody could be married, Pisces and stuff. How y'all doing? Because y'all cut the, they cut their asses off, okay? <laughs> All right, so it could be a woman or a man. It don't really matter. <laughs> the tea, baby. How y'all doing? <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining the membership and everything. Oh, my God. I was up there stressed out about this damn shit, linking everything together. Oh, man. I would have been on, but these people give me headache talking about <laughs> It wouldn't connect, okay? That's Mercury retrograde, okay? But I got it all connected. It's done. Now I can come in and do y'all reading. Happy New Year to you guys, okay? Let's see who's coming towards y'all, okay, Pisces? How y'all doing? I'm going to do y'all tonight, then I'm probably going to be done and everything. I'm doing well. Uh, thank you for asking this stuff. I was stressed out about that damn um, connecting my accounts and shit, but determination paid off. <laughs> Welcome, Jesse James. How you doing? All right, so we had a Queen of Cups, so there could be another uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming towards you. The Queen of Cups, so somebody is in love with you or somebody's thinking about how they can do something very loving for you, all right, or express their love because they know that, uh, that you, they know they done fucked up. That's why you cut their asses off. Seven of, uh, seven of Cups, it could be a Scorpio, or it could be several people that's wondering what's going on with you, Pisces. You might have cut several people out of your lives and stuff. People that didn't appreciate you, people that didn't empathize with you, people that just didn't care. All right, we got here eight of one. There's a lot of shit that's gonna start happening for y'all real quick. But I feel like if things been stagnant, the eight of ones are saying things are about to pick up. It could be a Sagittarius reaching out to you guys, communicating with y'all. Man, I had to do so many things in so little much time. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> ah. All right, let's see here. The unexpected is the four of cups. So yeah, rejection is God protection. There could be a cancer reaching out to y'all or somebody's coming back with the same offer and stuff. You seem like you're not interested in it, but be prepared to get an offer again. Okay. Or shit, you could be spoiled um, to the point that you don't need anything. But I feel like somebody's like, no, take my cup, take it. All right, Capricorn, the devil. Okay. So they saying somebody's obsessed with you, Pisces and stuff. Um, they're not giving up either. Somebody is like um, addicted to you. Okay. The devil. <laughs> Oh, my God, your advice is saying that you are able to cut this toxic tie out, but somebody does not want you to let them go. We have here the two of swords. Yeah, it's like somebody wants you to make a bad decision against your better intuition, against your better. It's like somebody wants you to vote against your intuition and go against your intuition. Five of cut. Somebody really sad in this reading, okay? Or, you know, upset that their magic is not working anyway um, anymore. Scorpio. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Libra, and the Aries here, okay? Damn, the devil came out, and all of this love, somebody missed your love and stuff. They're obsessed with either tormenting your ass, too, okay? This person could have been tormenting you. We got the Queen of Swords. So you cut somebody off, because you ain't got time to deal with their asses and stuff anymore. <laughs> woo -wee. We have here the Two of Cups, okay? So, yeah, a Leo's in love with y'all, or... It's a cancer in love with y'all. I feel like too, somebody's coming towards you now. They want to, they want you to listen to them. This air sign, they want to speak their truth. It could be Aquarius and stuff. Or somebody mad because they feel like you're the reason they separated. They got divorced. Somebody got beef with you. We got the Queen of Wands as well. So I feel like also y'all got a glow up happening. Okay. I do feel like um all of a sudden somebody is like speaking quick or somebody's like, I don't understand what y'all saying. Also, someone is testing your loyalty as well with this communication. It's like somebody asking you question to see what you're gonna say. Unexpected is the magician. Yeah, somebody manipulating the situation. Someone is gonna make something happen where another opportunity comes back to you. Um, another love opportunity comes back. An Aries could be manipulating this or a Cancer. This could be a homing thing too. Like the manager is trying to manipulate you guys into signing a lease or signing something again that you don't want. We got the devil come with the seven of ones, but it keep backfiring. Whoever this person is, that's like persistent. Okay. Reluctant to let you go. Your advice is to block their asses or keep setting healthy boundaries with them. It could be a Leo or a Capricorn. A lot of Leo energy here, a lot of Libra energy here, and it's Capricorn. So this person don't either understand. No, this could be an ex-spouse of yours, okay, that is a narcissistic, okay, or they like bullying you, Pisces, but 
you had to set some type of healthy healthy boundaries. You could have North Node and Aries or some shit, or you could have a placement where you need to stand up for yourself. We got the Ten of Swords. This person, the outcome is not going to be good for them. Is either okay? So I feel like somebody um. Some of y'all, this person could be the point. I just got to say this for some of y'all. This person could be so hell bent on getting y'all back that they would use suicide as a tactic to come back to y'all or to get you guys to respond to them. Okay, this is like making bad decisions all the way around. Two of swords, the ten of swords, and this is somebody like if you don't talk to me, Pisces, I'm gonna slit my wrist or some shit. You know, this person, wow, Gemini energy, but. It's like this person is playing some type of deadly game or silent treatment to get you guys to respond to them because you're not responding the way this person is hoping you respond. I feel like you got somebody pegged in their games and stuff. So just expect somebody to come towards you um, acting like they care or telling you their truth and stuff. But with the rejection card for us, the four of cups and the seven of one are rejection card. Something is being rejected here. All right, so six of swords, the king of pentacles, and the ace of cups. So y'all could be moving forward towards, uh, y'all could be re moving towards um, relocating towards a lot of money, a tourist, or a committee. So this is what the universe wants you guys to be led to. By Aquarius season, y'all should be moving forward and stuff. And by May, y'all should be like looking towards a more solid security relationship. And then we got the ace of cups. So this can happen within the next four weeks and stuff. But there, there's somebody also is like feeling like y'all about to move into um, be a millionaire or you're about to get a deal of a lifetime and stuff. So I see you guys moving forward with the six of swords resolution out of bad situation. But shit, y'all moving towards the king of pentacles in the ace of cups. All right, Taurus season. Taurus is here to bull and shit. So this is also... Uh, this could be a banking that's treating y'all bad or taking money or not giving you perks. And you're like, you know what? Fuck that. Uh, <laughs> I know this guy, they, he was uh, at Wells Fargo. They wouldn't want to give him his money. He's like, fuck it. I'm just going to take all $3 million and go to another person. So it could be like that. Y'all can already have the money. Could be wealthy. And you realize this bank is a piece of shit. And you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't deserve this treatment. I'm going to take all my millions out and I'm going to go to a new bank. Okay. This is also, you know, relocating your money into something that is more beneficial to you guys as well but on a love level it looks like you guys are moving into a committed relationship where somebody's ready older stable they're ready for a new love they're ready for love and somebody playing any goddamn ways with your money your finances and your feeling the seven of cups the seven of one this is also a spiritual test that you guys may also need to pass four sword uh the eight of swords and the ten of one somebody could also be coming towards y'all because they could be worried that they're going to get locked up and shit or they're going to be homeless or something. Uh, somebody is like also hoping that you guys don't see something. It's like somebody's hiding something. Two of swords, eight of swords from y'all. Or someone has been doing work on y'all. Trying to keep you so overwhelmed that you make bad choices and shit here. Or this person is a bad decision. It could be a Sagittarius Capricorn that y'all probably should be wary of. Okay. A Libra possibly. That's lazy as fuck. So say if this is somebody that's trying to move in with y'all, promising you guys that they're going to help y'all. The, the four of swords and the ten of ones and the eight of swords is telling me this person action towards y'all is they going to get in where they fit in. They're going to get good and lazy after they get in. And they're not they going to stress you the hell out and not put the work in that you desire. And it's all a fucking game. Even the Aquarius, they point out too, okay? Five of swords, five of pentacles, and a star card. Yeah, this person's whole purpose is to make you broke and stuff or try to break you down. And it's like a funny ass game. Somebody also know that you're an aspiring star or you're aspiring to do something well. Um, but here's the wish card for you guys as well. It's like somebody wishing on y'all downfall. They're hoping that you on forever bed rest, you forever sick, or you forever broke. But the card said you going to the king of pentacles. They ask could be broken and having back issues, financial issues, and they see you as somebody because they you cut their asses out. So you could have been this person like lifeline. All right now. Somebody also wants y'all to get a tattoo with them. Tattoo my name on you, Pisces. <laughs> ah, y'all getting, getting a tattoo here? Okay, somebody could be a tattoo artist and stuff. I, that just came into my um, head right now. Healing family issues, your love life benefit for forgiving your parents, okay? So this could be someone that has uh, mother or father issues or unhealed wounds and stuff as well. You also could be beefing with this person, mother or father, they family. And you're like, mm -mm, check your mother, check your family. I can't do that shit. Check your kids. All right. We got here playfulness. 
time to recapture the romance and allow the inner youthful self to shine through, okay? So I feel like, too, some of you guys are meeting somebody. It could be a Leo. I'm not sure or not. Y'all are meeting a fun, youthful type of energy, or they want you guys to uh, um, be fun, lighthearted, and free. I right, love yourself first. Your self respects bring you more romantic, attractive, or makes you more romantically attractive right now. Some of y'all, it is a childhood friend that you never talked to that could be doing something okay for you, really sweet. But I do feel like um, some type of forgiveness, okay, or somebody, you know, they they want to call you with their family issues. I don't know what you're going to be able to do for this and stuff. Page of one, page of pentacles, and a ten of pentacles. If they thought you were going to be broke, you're not going to be broke, okay? Hi, right, y'all got some money coming in. This could be inheritance for some of y'all. <laughs> Um, also, a Virgo could be talking to y'all. Also, you guys could be putting your kids through college and stuff, or you got the money. Somebody could be giving you a huge bonus for the holiday. All right, late gift for y'all. Hey, happy. All right, congratulations. But the Page of Pentacles is scholarships. Um, the Page of Wands is usually for your talents and your abilities as well to speak, okay, to command the crowd. But Pages are kids, but with the Ten of Pentacles, it could be family. Now, it could be your brother or your sister contacting you with this as well. Tell me y'all retiring because you can, okay? Shit, you got enough money to do so. Happy New Year's. All right, but the Ten of Pentacles. So the page of one is on Ten of Pentacles, the page of Pentacles. Some of y'all going to be at the right place to hit the million dollars, okay? You know how they be hitting the million dollars? That girl was uh, at the place. She had got Popeye chicken, and she ended up getting a stretcher for $10 million. All right, for real. Like, that shit type, this type of shit happens. I, I don't encourage gambling, but with type of cards like this, if it's not your family giving you money, you could be taking a road trip like how she was and got her some Popeye chicken and got her $10 million on a stretcher. This shit happens every day. <laughs> or you may um, see this or hear this about a family member. Virgo is coming up strongly. All right, opposite of your sign is a Virgo Pisces. Let's see what else is going on. All right, but I feel like some of y'all are going to learn that either your kid got a scholarship or got accepted into something really nice. It can make you very proud. We got here Pisces in the fifth house. Wow. So y'all dreams are here where you have fun, romance, and creative things that you are proud of. So somebody could be making a, a children book, okay? Um, you guys could be poetry and stuff. You could be releasing or publishing. January 24th, write it down. If you guys are going to release anything and you want people to take to it or you building something behind the scenes and working on something behind the scenes and stuff, January 24th, January 20th, I work up to the new age of Aquarius season and stuff because it's not going to be any, uh, Uranus is uh, conjuncting, I think it's what, the fourth, the sixth is Cancer full moon, but it's making like positive conjunction all in January. So people should be happy with some of the surprises that's coming in naturally. But January 24th is a great day to launch products. If you have something that you want to get out there, because the opposite of Aquarius is Leo. Leo rules kids. So if you are working with the youth and you want to get the young people to come towards you, all right, it's a lot of shit going on here now. Um, Then that's a day, okay? <laughs> How you get a thumbs up, baby? The energy is wishful, endless, loving, compassionate, and forgiving, and confused and soft. And so, somebody is trying to figure out why you haven't forgiven them or somebody is trying to figure out how to get you Pisces to forgive them. This could be your kid or somebody could be trying to figure out how to apologize to you. Also, you guys may be scouting somebody out. Or you may actually see somebody got a really good talent for drawing people's face. Okay. I heard stencils and something like that because this kid, this little genius child is drawing a person on there. Okay. So maybe you guys are um, starting to do this dabble into uh, sketching and stuff. I do a lot of it. <laughs> I think I want mine in the de uh, fashion design industry, though. I, I do a lot of sketching and shit. All right, sewing and stuff. Let's see. What else is going on? <laughs> we have here the sixth house. Okay, so something about your health is going to change, or you guys are going to start focusing on your health more um, with the sixth house, okay? We got here your work, your help, your duties to life and stuff. Uh, we have here Moon and Libra Love. All right, so you may be loving your body or you may be getting a lot of praise for something you're doing, okay? Um, yeah, 
I feel like you are, it is a craze around or somebody here could be your motivation for why you're losing something or gaining something. Bring peace to your uh, life and your relationships will flourish, okay? So the Ten of Wands was showing up, a lot of cards, the devil was showing up. Drop them down, burdens and them people that giving you headache and stuff. And if they can't love you, okay, if you, I mean, if I can't make you love me either, I don't know why I just got that song. Because I can't make you love me this time okay so you guys drop somebody that don't want to love your ass okay i uh, don't know how to love okay we got here neptune your fantasy yearning longing and the potential for illusions yeah so i feel like somebody could feel like um you could be like mm, is this an illusion also i'm hearing trick mirrors and stuff because you know um uh, with the sixth house of neptune somebody got body dysmorphia here or somebody wants you to look at your body and question how you look and stuff as, as well all right, there's an illusion going on with how you look, but I feel like you look good here, or you fine, or there's an illusion to your craft or something. Maybe something could be extravagated as well, but I feel like you're doing well. Somebody else is not. All right, first house, what people see and impressions that you give off. So this week, okay, dress to impress, okay, or you are making a great impression on people. Just know that as well. All right. Or I'm definitely getting mirror work or somebody like looking at your ass in the mirror. Who watching your ass? The tower is a Scorpio or Aquarius that you blowing a mind or something is mind blowing down. So, <laughs> I feel like too, um, Pisces, somebody might get fired for sexual harassment or somebody's going to do something out of character um, that you may not expect as well. Like somebody is going beyond their pay grade, okay? Somebody doing something above their pay grade. We did see that. Like, why are you adding all this type of pressure here? But I said, who watching you? The tower is watching you, okay? So the universe, Uranus is watching you. Unexpected things happening to y'all. But the tower usually is a uh, that Scorpio or that uh, Aquarius energy. So, yeah, there's somebody trying to figure out what's going on with y'all. Yeah, there's a racist person watching y'all, okay? I feel like somebody's going to get fired for this or somebody's going to get caught on camera. I mean, they have they have been able to record police officer, politician, and the likes, okay, that's like being racist towards people, all right? Now, if you being racist, somebody could be recording your ass, too. It doesn't matter. But with the five or so and the two or so, I feel like somebody is saying something about you or saying something and they've been caught either on camera with the mirror or they've been recorded and stuff. And this caused them with the tower, somebody that is a CEO or in a position of power to influence to lose their damn job. You may catch this person, okay? Like, excuse me, what you say about the employees or what are you talking about with my employees? Or why are you talking about these black people with the 10 and 1 showing up? Yeah, it's something being caught. Okay, wow. <laughs> We got here, and I feel like this, if you are the manager or the CEO of a company, somebody in your company is racist, and you actually walk up, or you hear this shit, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, we got here the Ace of Cups, and we got the Queen of Wands, okay, so there's also somebody here that's watching you, and I'm hearing a rig competition, because we had the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands and stuff, so someone could be rigging the results of something, oh my goodness, <laughs> So if somebody's in a talent show, the person that's supposed to be winning may not actually win due to racism here or due to some type of favoritism here as well. Some It's a snake here. Could be a Sagittarius, okay, or a Leo. Somebody's paying somebody to go against you. Now, you could be the one that should be winning this talent show or getting this offer as well due to something you do very well here. Mm, people be doing some shit. Nobel Prize is what I heard, especially if you're a book writer or you are a... Um, Especially if you like a book writer. The moon is in Gemini, y'all. <laughs> so get ready for a bunch of chatter. Get ready. because Yeah, because it's going to be in Cancer on the 6th, okay? So the moon just entered into Gemini right now. I got the notification, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all could be dealing with a Gemini, too. Somebody gossiping and shit about something as well. I feel like y'all doing really well, but somebody else think they better or somebody is using their skin color to get some type of privilege. I just see it like that, okay? Um, whether they white, black, it's, it's, it's some type of jealousy and hate here. And probably think you too smart. 401, okay, rectification, helps one live in peace with everybody. So it could be in your community, okay? It could be a lot of people that don't want you to be in a certain type of community, God the Savior. We got Aries Energy 401. I feel like your home is peace and stuff, and uh, very peaceful. 
We got three of Pentecost. Okay, God listening. Somebody like got the damn glass up to the. You know how people put that glass up to the door and be listening to your ass like, what the hell is Pisces saying? Lamination. <laughs> Somebody knows me as fuck. <laughs> we got the three of Pentecost. We got Aries, Capricorn energy. Okay, I I also feel like somebody's listening to the work that you do. So if you are an artist or if you work from home, um, somebody listening to everything you say. I feel like somebody's listening so hard with the arrow, the the arrow and the spirit they're like damn that shit is real okay what pisces is saying is um actually true mental forces protects against sorrow and illness and some of y'all gonna realize y'all got a neighbor that's just mentally ill and shit okay you can't help the asses justice libra <laughs> <laughs> so something could be also something could be going on at court as well. Some of y'all may hear good news about a court situation. OK, I feel like too something is irreversible. Once it's been the gavel has been slammed. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> doom, doom. Anyways, I feel like it's, that's what it is. Could it say um, we got here justice, make the truth known in court and causes the innocent to prevail. OK, so somebody could be lying on your ass. And I'm like I said. If this is an official person that lied, cheated, or scammed to get their way there, they're being exposed, okay? Justice, okay? The four swords, a lot of Libra energy, mission, protects against slander, and imputes people. So somebody could be on a hell bit mission to slander your damn name. We got Leo sin. We got this uh, God, the Holy Trinity. It could be three people in cahoots fucking with child. I feel like, too, something gives you peace of mind once you get this decision, but it could be a Libra and a Leo in cahoots working with, trying to, because the Three of Pentacles usually three people in cahoots trying to fuck up your job, fuck up your peace of mind, just screw you out of some shit that you deserve. The Ace of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody could also be trying to screw y'all out of reconciliation or reconciling some type of differences as well. Ace of Swords, you're going to find out the truth about this as well, and this motherfucker on the ground begging and shit, Okay. <laughs> Uh, we have here, and this could be like intellectual property. Y'all gonna learn somebody was also like uh, repeating something or verbatim or what they call it when the people uh, do something you create it word for word, okay? Plagiarism. Somebody may be plagiarizing some shit on y'all and stuff. You may learn about his signature. I'm hearing it like a uh, forgery of your signature. Somebody is like um, trying to calligraphy. Okay, y'all got beautiful penmanship. <laughs> they may have to call in an expert to even figure out somebody this motherfucking good. Okay, we got here affinity and friendship attains the friendship of anybody, loyalty and allegiance and friendship and reconciliation. Some of y'all, it could be a friend, okay, or somebody's trying to come back into your life. They want to reconcile with you, Pisces. Okay, we got here old man. Who, Vir Virgo had an old woman in their chart, I mean, in their reading, dealing with a relationship with an old man. All right, we have the boat. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting money here. Okay, <laughs> we got here the boat say money and property through inheritance, winning or windfall. I said ten of pentacles, y'all, and the king of pentacles are in y'all reading. So either like they say, inheritance, a property could be land and stuff, then on ship and stuff. Uh, winnings and windfall. Okay, so yeah, for those who take risks to gamble, y'all may actually win something. We got here goldfish. <laughs> God, I got that slug in my head about goldfish. Increasing increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. And we got the four leaf clover. Yeah, y'all got the page of pentacles again. I remember I saying that somebody could also be trying to say your man, your husband, or your spouse is uh, I'm trying to hit on them. I'm hearing infidelity because of the page of pentacles. I was talking about how that card speaks of people. Uh, being faithful to you and they can cause your spouse to be faithful it's a great angel to work with when you're trying to reconcile your difference with your spouse and stuff we got february we got aquarius energy showing through okay so yeah somebody's like um blowing the air blowing smoke up your ass or somebody's coming in with trouble the tower is coming okay a storm is brewing we got here valley deep personal strength and peace that assures success all right, so somebody is like making sure somebody is trying to make your way hard. And 10 to 1 is applying pressure so you don't make it to the top. But somehow you guys come up out of something. And we got March and stuff as well. Hey, it goes good with the four leaf clover, don't it? <laughs> you never find a leprechaun go. All right, let's see here. So somebody could be looking for your money and stuff as well. Or somebody trying to figure out where you hid the damn, uh, or somebody trying to get a piece of your luck, you know, because some people feel like if they hang around you, Pisces, that 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 good that good luck energy or that that's what they yeah, that prosperity may rub off on them. Okay. So there's somebody that feel like you guys are a good luck charm to them. 
Good luck, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> we got here the page of cups and the seven of pentacles. It could be a Taurus as well. Also, remember I told you guys some of y'all might leave y'all bank because y'all feel like they not catering to y'all enough. I feel like they looking at y'all and seeing how long y'all been with them. Y'all could have been with this bank for 10, 20, or 30 years. And um, now they're trying to figure out how to keep y'all as a client. It could be a tourist that want to get close to y'all. This, again, another card of inheritance, harvest, and prosperity coming towards y'all. All right. I feel like somebody is, like, getting close to y'all because they want to do that as well. Some of y'all are investing seven of cups. Could be a Scorpio that want to get close to y'all. All right. Five of pentacles. Yeah, there's somebody here that may have a bad north node or shitty luck. Okay. We did have the devil and stuff as well. So you guys may have cut somebody off or even tell... Uh, what they call it, communicating with y'all, say telekinesis, okay, telecommunication, <laughs> we have here the two of swords and the queen of wands, I feel like you, that was the right choice to do too, because um, somebody is a false friend or a fake friend, or somebody um, is coming around you guys to just feed off your good energy, because you are, you are being blessed with um, a lot of abundance here, Pisces and stuff, ten of swords, the ace of cups, and the ten of wands, yeah, it's a several people y'all got to let go of, all right, shit, people making it hard for y'all to get to y'all ace of cup. You got enemies on your left and enemies on your right. Some of them are co-workers and some of these motherfuckers ex-lovers and family members that has betrayed y'all 10-10. Y'all might be seeing 10-10 a lot, which is all about new um, beginnings and endings at the same time. So as you in one relationship, you gain another friend or you meet a new person or you do something different. I told y'all a friend of me. There is a friend around y'all, could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Gemini, or a Leo that you cannot trust and stuff as well. They see you got good shit going on, unstable and patched out. Y'all may have even work with this person, so you may consider them to be more of an associate, acquaintance, okay? This motherfucker, first of all, somebody in y'all job may offer you to do a job again, but I would definitely be looking at why you need to do this job, a past job, because somebody not giving you the full detail of why they want you to work with them again. And Mercury retrograde usually bring back past employers, or somebody may want y'all to do some job and they not disclosing the information that you need, okay? We got unstable, so somebody is damn demon and shit. You never know what you're going to get about off this motherfucker. And the abandoned teacher, oh my God. So. <laughs> Some of y'all, this motherfucking mad because you have Excel, what they call the the pupil has uh outdid the master. Okay, okay, now all right, all right, all right. <laughs> somebody, um, so somebody in y'all reading mad because y'all you stopped teaching them. Okay, go read a book, motherfucker. Okay, so somebody was learning from watching you guys. Also, somebody is targeting you guys as well. But abandonment, you rule abandonment, Pisces. So you probably had to leave somebody, or they supposed to probably abandon your ass first and stuff. They probably promised to teach you and they didn't. Okay, and several people came along and betrayed you and then do their job never follow through ten of ones ten of swords these are slackers okay in y'all life that y'all had to cut off they be slacking underachievers not overachievers they be underachieving shit sneaky and possessive mm -hmm. i'm hearing like uh what that shit when they go to jail for possession somebody could be in possession of crack cocaine heroin drugs and shit sneaking somebody could also remember i said somebody cheating and shit somebody could be trying to sneak drugs on you to frame you and shit and stuff people be wild and that's like i mean the police pulled us on me was kids and everything and this shit is a real life story and the motherfucker i was dating through the fucking dope over there where i was at i was just a teenager the officer let me go they said we're not gonna ruin your life but that motherfucker literally threw the dope over there by me and shit when I was a teenager, I was like, did this motherfucker just throw this dope over here by me? Just just threw it over there by me. The officer let me go, though. I was a teenager. They said, we're not going to ruin your life. We know who did it. We know this person did it and shit. They took me home and shit. But they could have been assholes. They could have been like, it's yours. And, and it wasn't. But, you know, shit, thank God I had some discerning officers that night. All right. We have easy going. I just want to get along with and be chill, okay? So you got to be careful because I feel like somebody is like, um, yeah, they, there's something about peace and and um, and y'all reading, not getting upset, not getting agitated, not getting out of control because a lot of people like to put you in that shit as well because they feel like uh, if you like arguing back or you resisting, you got to be uh, guilty, but not true. You violate my rights, motherfucker, okay? I got the right to ask and stuff. I feel like, too, people get mad when you question them, okay? Like, officer, why are you pulling me over, okay? They don't even know. They profiled your ass. That's why they pulled you over. It wasn't no reason. They just wanted to profile you, okay? 
uh we got deceitful so yeah be careful pisces and stuff we got here uh, there's nothing for me to uh lie cheat steal for what i want so y'all definitely got a deceitful person around y'all looking okay i chilling waiting like a fucking villain don't know the feeling all right we got disorganized okay but this person probably get caught because they can't keep their shit together they unstable i feel like that's their downfall all right if this is somebody that's trying to scam you out of something they trying to teach you something you know how people be going to classes and stuff, but they, they don't got enough patience to like hold the plan through or stick through the plan. So the shit falls apart, okay? The scammer, because they disorganized and stuff. I can't seem to keep shit to, in order. And we got relaxed, okay? Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, and this person is too lax and stuff. You know, they say don't get too comfortable. And you know how they, the motherfucking villain always want to talk the way before they, um, when they're about to kill you, they want to tell you why they about to kill you. Did somebody end up saving your ass? I feel like this is somebody that talked too goddamn much. They want to tell you why they're going to do X, Y, and Z. And before you know it, your ass is gone and stuff because they talking too much. Shut the fuck up. I keep it calm and serene. <laughs> So this person could be talking their way into jail somewhere too, y'all. Y'all dealing with her as well. We got here familiar and confidence and stuff, but they cocky. That's what I'm saying. Truthful. All right. Nobody is like actually confident that they're going to get away with the crime, but because they, they talk too much, okay? And you know this person or you know this person, okay? They shady and stuff in this building. And I know my work, okay? Also, y'all know that y'all can't trust this person or it's never, or you shouldn't get too relaxed around this person. That's sad to say, but that's the truth here. Mm -mm. All right, so Pisces, align with your higher purpose. It could be a Sagittarius and stuff, all right? With the, um, align with your higher purpose. There you go, clear out. <laughs> Ah, with love and wisdom, so you know better, okay, Sun and Pisces, okay, y'all showing up and stuff, so somebody is trying to, yeah, because they feel like if you agitated, you irritated, you won't see them coming, somebody is trying to hit you guys with an element of surprise, they want you, like, agitated, this person is trying to irritate y'all asses and stuff, Aquarius, <laughs> ah, Hey, I'm on a rock and roll. The energy around you is freedom loving, re, uh, rebellious, idealistic, and technology. So somebody could be trying to hack y'all asses. Do I see? No, y'all dealing with a demon or something, okay? Or somebody wants you to devil in like a lot of more demonic shit here. Domestic violence. Some of y'all be careful. Somebody is abusive. Rescue. Okay, somebody might end up in a hospital beat up and shit because they keep fucking with y'all and stuff. Somebody could be also boy that cry wolf is what I'm getting to, okay? The person that, yeah, the, okay, so the uh, friend of me, y'all friend of me is a hacker, okay? Not only is the friend of me a hacker, this motherfucker got binoculars on this one. I didn't even notice that. I was trying to figure out which one it is. All right. <laughs> they be all up in your business. They be calculating numbers. You know how they say the math, they mathing and stuff. Somebody like you try to calculate the dimes, the pennies, the nickels, okay? <laughs> Everything you spend things on. They trying to listen to where you're going, where you eat at, all that damn shit, okay? We got here a change in your emotional life, moon and Scorpio transformation. So y'all can have a praise of a Scorpio in y'all chart and you like, mm -mm, this motherfucker hasn't changed, okay, at all. This is somebody that's pretending Tending to change to get back into y'all good graces, but they still about that drug, sex, and rock and roll. Okay, let's have a good time. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I say, I, <laughs> ah, y'all could be way up. Y'all feeling so blessed. Okay, but I feel like this is this person in. All right, <laughs> hey, how you doing? I think I did tourist and stuff a couple days ago and stuff, but I'm gonna get to everybody. Mm. Oh yeah, y'all gonna be coming. I still gotta do a Aquarius and stuff, and then I'll be doing y'all probably tomorrow Taurus and stuff. How you doing? Welcome. I did y'all seven days ago. Okay, seven whole nights with all the work for you. I can't take it no more. I can't take it no more. I had about enough of you. All right, so I say stand for him in the storm of the eye. All right, so regeneration. All right. <laughs> I had to go check my calendar and stuff. All right, we have here. 
Yeah, so y'all could be regenerating too as well, or you need time to regenerate. But I also feel like don't back down. Like, don't this bully and shit, this Capricorn, uh, this goddamn Aquarius y'all dealing with, that's a fucking bully. It could be a Scorpio too. But I feel like y'all in love with Scorpio, or Scorpio is in love with y'all, or somebody's trying to break a bond that can't be broken too. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Stand, uh, I also feel like with your resources too, somebody is trying to fuck up your resources. Stand firm in the eye of the storm. You guys end up figuring out something. I'm hearing um, homeowners insurance and stuff. If y'all haven't got it, I'm, I'm seeing you guys looking at things like that. Flood insurance, depending on where you're at, because you see that hurricane coming or that storm coming. All right, what is it? The, the tsunami or tsunami or some shit? Whatever. Somebody's coming in like a fucking bat out of hell. I'm getting like the Tasmanian devil. Okay, y'all dealing with a motherfucking Tasmanian devil. Okay, Looney Tune motherfucker. All right, so because this you you tell you telling somebody no. This point blank, mad because you cut them off. You need to tell somebody no. I don't care who this is. If they're abusing you, your mama, your sister, your kid, your husband, somebody need to be told no. We got here, focus on your home and your love, sun and cancer, okay? Yeah, your stability. All right, the sunrise is coming too, okay? Cancer, uh, this weekend might be very significant to you. Something happening too around your home. We have eclipse in Virgo. Um, reorganize, reorganization, okay? Choose duty and responsibility. Careful. Yeah, choose who the fuck you want to give your riches to, too. So if y'all in here and y'all bless and stuff, I had, I just gave a little boy some money and stuff. And I know they was out there hustling for money. I started to go back up to the ass and tell them it's the first of the month. And I know what I was about to say. You know, I don't know if y'all got food stamps or y'all mama got y'all food stamps. But it'd probably be good if y'all can go buy y'all some, like, uh, sympathies or some Kit Kats or something and try to give people some candy or something. I mean, people can choose to eat it or not. but you know, it might be more appealing as well because, you know, shit, they out there asking for money. I gave them $5 and shit. They was teenagers and shit. I don't know how I felt. But we used to be out there begging people for money because they was trying to get our asses home. <laughs> oh, people was looking at our ass like, what the fuck are y'all out here at this corner store? Man, we just trying to get on the bus. We just need $5, okay? I don't know what they needed for, but I was just trying to give them other ways to get, like, money. To, yeah, they offered to pump the gas and clean my windows, but I was like, I'm okay. I got it, but here you go. We got Virgo, um, sun, um, sun and Virgo endeavors. You reap what you sow. All right, so Virgo energy out here. So I feel like you guys have done a lot, okay? Or you have a lot of responsibilities on you guys. Um, also, yeah, something about your birth chart is very significant here. I feel like, too, yeah, reap what you sow. It's money coming. It's harvest time. All right, something y'all doing is also about to, like, start sprouting and stuff. <laughs> start growing as well land and stuff purchasing land as well yeah <laughs> ah, to get Bacardi oh my god you know when I was that age they actually I was able to go in the store and buy my mama cigarettes and drinks and stuff okay they sometimes with a letter and shit <sighs> the times has changed you can't do that shit no more you're going to jail <laughs> They gonna get your, they gonna lock your ass up. Okay, you go buy somebody some alcohol and stuff, or even if it ain't for you, but obviously they do it for my mama and stuff. All right, we say your inner wild child awakens. Okay, so some of y'all are going to be waking up a free spirit. Okay, or you gonna just like I don't know, drop all your duties and go somewhere on a sabbatical, eat, love, pray for some of y'all. Um, Pisces as well is what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh my God, the shit we used to do to try to get home and stuff and hang out and kids and stuff. Thank God there were no cameras back then. It's funny because I, I can be nostalgic when I see Porteroids because to me, Porteroids is like the first selfie camera. Because remember, with Porteroid, you can always take a selfie and it instantly print. Hey, thank you for the $20 making deals in here. All right. <laughs> Welcome, Diamond. Yeah. Um, but Porteroid, when you think about it, because you know, instant, okay, instant photos. And shit, that's how you, yeah, but we didn't really have any, um, we did have some video. My uncle, uh, he's, he's a cancer and he did have a lot of videos. And so we can look back at our videos when we was kids and stuff and see some of the fuckery we was doing. We was always doing dance contests. Okay. Dancing against each other, singing contest, um, fighting contest. But I remember I was recording my sister and shit and she was dancing <laughs> On the VHS and I fucking slipped and bust her ass and shit. Ooh. <laughs> she said, you got to get rid of that tape. 
<laughs> oh, you got to get rid of that video. She said, can't nobody see her slipping and busting her ass. She was dancing and stuff. It was funny. <laughs> All right, so soul forgiveness and naked, okay, and mass. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, somebody crying and stuff. And I feel, because we was teenagers too. Um, my sister, two years older than me, she was Sagittarius. She had a boyfriend, and he was a cancer. She's like, he can't see that shit. <laughs> He can't see me band dancing and busting my ass. All right, so somebody could be asking for some type of forgiveness from you guys as well. Or somebody like, so I feel like somebody's crying in their soul because either they never, they know that you ain't coming back and stuff or something here. Or somebody knows that in order for them to ever come close to you, they got to bear their soul as well. <laughs> Are y'all watching old school videos? Man. Go back to them old school videos and be looking at yourself. I said, boy, I was a badass little kid, okay? <laughs> Hiding into shit and doing shit I wasn't supposed to be doing. I was one of them kids that was hard-headed. Like, they say don't touch the stove. I had to touch it. I was wondering why I kept getting electrocuted, too, because my mama had shampooed the motherfucking carpet, and she had a broke-ass tube TV, and I kept taking the fork, trying to turn that motherfucker on, and I was just like... Zzz. Why the fuck am I? She shampooed the bowl and I didn't even fucking know. <laughs> ah, man. Or what's that call it? The projector and stuff where you project that shit out there? <laughs> Bad, okay? And our family, we got a bunch of fucking kids. It used to be like 20 of our asses around the same age as deep. And then we got here, somebody here too, Pisces. All right, they got a bunch of masks on and everything, okay? Jumbie, okay. <laughs> and we got here divine lineages. Okay, so yeah, I feel like somebody want to be a part of your family or somebody can't get let in. I feel like somebody DNA ain't cut off for something and they could be mad about this as well. We had a lot of fun, but we got our ass whooped a lot too. I know I got my ass whooped too much sometimes. I was like, man, but I said because I was always standing up for the underdog and shit. I'm like, why though? Ah. I like the paper bag sacks. I didn't like the swimming and shit, but I did all the swimming contests and stuff. I liked the I liked the, the basketball. We used to play baseball because we had such a big family and stuff. So we can split the family and have. We used to play with other families, like the rival family and shit. And we used to whoop their asses. Y'all know we Jacksons and stuff. They used to be like the motherfucking Jacksons. They they the motherfucking shit. <laughs> We used to have so much fun and shit, but I'm trying that shit get so bad though. Fights used to always break out though. Because black people don't know how to act and stuff. They get drunk and stuff, be mad and shit, don't know how to win or lose properly and stuff. Okay. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> this could be this person. They don't know how to win. they don't know how to lose properly, win or lose. All right, be bold and make the first step. And we have here a time to give rather than receive. All right. So I feel like too, a cancer, Aries, a Libra, or a who else? A uh, Capricorn is going to be so bold to make a step towards you guys and stuff. But uh, it got full moon conclusions are within reach. That full moon is that that full moon? Yeah, the full moon is in Cancer, so there could be a conclusion to a whole matter that's going to happen for y'all Pisces and stuff. I had to think about that shit. <laughs> think about it. Don't think about it too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. <laughs> but we got the Cardinal moon. You know, Cardinals is all about action. Okay, and we got here. A time to give rather than receive. This is usually nurturing yourself, though, Pisces, with that energy coming through. It's like spirit, like, no, nah, stop giving. Let's see the fuckery that this person is on because you cut their asses off, okay? Ain't that the cousin? <laughs> so I feel like y'all also changing y'all habits and stuff. Your habits are going to be really good and stuff. Or you guys are going to be eating better and stuff. I know I am and stuff. I be having, I be trying hard and stuff. I be trying. <laughs> I just need to hit the gym, okay? Then it'd be working. Oh my God. So somebody mad because they escorted. Somebody got to sell ass now to get cash and stuff. All right. So they say escorting and selling it, okay? Somebody may even be bold enough to try to make you an offer, Pisces. Like, what? <laughs> we have here always in and out, okay? So this person will be coming in and out of y'all life and everything. All right. I told y'all third party black magic. Oh, shit. All right, so there could be somebody this person fucking with that's doing work on y'all. But we've seen that. I feel like somebody's doing work on y'all social media and y'all and um, talking a bunch of shit behind y'all back and everything. 
We got here mir mirror trigger. So you trigger this person because you remind them that they, you know, you the reason that shit is fucked up, not me. Okay, I didn't get, I didn't gave to you until I bled and shit. Now I can't help you no more. So somebody triggered by the fact that you can't do nothing for them. This person is trying to fuck up y'all self esteem. So be careful. Don't listen to the hype or don't listen to this bullshit. Okay. We have here caught up in some fuck shit. Got me caught up in some drama, but I'd rather be with you and all your bullshit. <laughs> this motherfucker is caught up in some fuck shit. Okay, don't let this person bring that drama over here. False accusation and secret pregnancy and and false pregnancy. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Okay. Also, Pisces, this person is gonna try to blame y'all. They're going to try to flip the switch and say, if it wasn't because of you, if you wasn't pregnant, if it wasn't because, what the hell, hell no, late night call. But they're going to be trying to call y'all when they full of alcohol and shit. This person could be having an orgies too or shit, I don't know. They be liking to do too much, okay, <laughs> what it look like. But don't um, don't fall for it. Or they said, don't get weak at night. This person probably know that you guys get weak at night. You know, people always have a vulnerable spot and then they try to uh, push up on you, okay? So they want you guys to be aware of that. Oh, pyrite, call on your core power. All right, so who needs it? The chronically lethargic, anybody sleeping with uh, sleeping on their potential. Oh, Pisces, they say y'all sleeping on y'all potential, okay? Beam me up, Scotty. All right, so where to put it? Pyrite is often used near, near the solar plexus, which is Leo energy, the sun, okay? The will center, okay? But it works wonders anywhere you need a little bit of boost of masculine energy. For example, that's what they were saying, too, with the uh, seven of ones. Y'all need energy to block this motherfucker, okay? No means no. That's a full sentence. For example, on the fellas with the low abdomino, just saying, oh, so somebody can't get it up, okay? Can't get enough of your loving, babe. They saying somebody uh, on the lower abdomino, just saying, okay, they talking about, the, you know, what it, what it is, though. When to use it when that romantic weekend get away from the kids, okay? Whenever the energy to power through their feelings should um through this dark matter, okay? So they saying that you guys could be going through a dark night of the soul, okay? Or you need to get laid, okay? Is what this card is saying, pyrite, okay? Call on your core power or you need to stop laying with this person because, I mean, they have very strong toxic energy. I feel like this person is tugging at your ass, okay? The devil came up as y'all advice, okay? This person is hella toxic. The sex could be hella good. Um, and they saying that uh, <laughs> you need to push through, okay? That's seven of ones. I feel like this person underestimated your willpower, though. Some of y'all can have Leo in y'all moon, y'all rising, y'all north node and stuff, or Aries and stuff, that cardinal energy. All right, so toy coins, speak your truth, Pisces, okay? They want y'all to work with toy coins and pyrite, okay? I got the fool's gold on my ass and my keychain. All right, so who needs it? Anyone that has a voice, okay, that has gone silent, where to put it? Set it in a sterling, a sterling silver ring or a big old belt buckle, all right, or a bolo tie or a pendulum, okay? Open mic night and whatever you need to speak up or speak out, okay? When to use it, when you feel disconnected from things that make you feel human and when you got something to express, get out the uh, toy coins and speak your truth, okay? So, yeah, so you may be feeling silenced or you may feel like you're not being heard, okay, or somebody not fucking listening to you and shit. Um, toy Quartz and Pyrite, they said, go ahead and do it and stuff. That's what my ex told me and shit. I was like, I can't help you. He said, I'm going to kill you, bitch. I was like, well, I guess I'm going to die in peace. And somebody always telling your ass they're going to kill you. Oh, my God. Look what this happened, okay? So, Pisces, look what just came through for y'all. Blue moon. So I was what normally don't happen. Wow, there's going to be a situation that comes through that only happens every blue moon, every 20, 30 years, okay? Um, actually, they said Saturn will not be back into Aquarius for, uh, what is it? How long would it say? 236 years and shit? Not tonight, love, but how you doing? But leaving the impossible, okay? I don't know what this is as well, but okay. Some things only happen every blue moon, okay? Moments like this. But I feel like nothing will come of this situation if y'all dealing with somebody that's a toxic piece of shit and they won't leave you alone with the void quest moon because you have something amazing that's about to occur for you. Or uh, Yeah, there's a rare occurrence about to come into y'all life or about to happen. And this could be with a job and stuff, okay? With the your hard work is paying off new moon and Capricorn. It could be money shit. 
uh, you know how people get, uh, you know how millionaires or people that don't want to have that light on it. Hopefully it's not y'all. But I know I heard a few stories where they say billionaires or millionaires, they want their wealth anymore and they donated it to somebody and stuff. That could be that moment like that. Like somebody just like for to give up all their wealth or give up all everything in their life. And you may be the lucky candidate for that wealth. Because we did see the 10 of the Pentacle and we did see the... Uh, King of Pentacles in y'all reading and shit. That's what they. Uh, what I feel like it's like, huh? You've been to do what? You've been rich for your whole life. You've been to get all your money up and shit. Um, but y'all could be the candidate for that as well. Is what I'm saying. So whatever this blue moon is, and said this shit don't happen every day. All right, six of ones, the justice. But I feel like the world is gonna be seeing that. Okay, the world is gonna see you get justice and karma as well. Somebody's gonna put something out there that is like is gonna make you feel proud too. Okay, like damn, this is the type of shit that don't happen every day. Not with that blue moon and stuff. Yeah, it's like y'all getting something. I've seen them stories too. Like, damn, this motherfucker just said, fuck it. Okay, they got old. They said they done. And they said, I'm going to give it away to everybody. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody could be walking away from their riches or somebody could be transferring their riches to you guys and stuff. The Eight of Cups came up again, okay? Like somebody like, fuck it. I don't need it. I, done, I got the fame, the success, okay? I done did it all and stuff. And they looking at you. We got the four of ones. This could be a home, a mansion. <laughs> Cause I think the four of pentacles, I mean the four of one and that one deck I have is the a, a mansion card and stuff. What you say, Michi? <laughs> Michi. <laughs> Look at that. Y'all got a lot of luck in y'all reading. Okay. This is the money card. Okay. Yeah, somebody knows that shit. That's why they're trying to hang on to your ass. So they're trying to be so tight and plugged in. All right. So what else y'all need to know? Oh, tell her, tell her. I told y'all that shit earlier. Somebody was going to be trying to talk that shit. Like, like somebody trying to catch y'all up and stuff. Or somebody getting caught up, so they got to get rid of their riches. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing like uh, Switzerland. <laughs> you got to be trying to switch their money to switch accounts. Somebody getting caught up. Okay, tell her, tell. Somebody trying to say some shit. So somebody busted red handed. Okay, wife about to leave them. They don't want her to have no money. They give it all to you. People be doing shit like that. Okay, you don't even know why. <laughs> You're like, well, shit, I'm going down. My wife can call me. She ain't going to take this money. That's fucked up to say, though, but people do it. Somebody getting caught here, and they're trying to get rid of their riches. I feel like this is not somebody that's broke either. All right, we got um, five of ones, five of swords. Oh, my God, competition. All right, so who the fuck is this fighting, okay? Also, like I said, somebody threw a fight, and somebody lost a lot of money because somebody was supposed to win a fight, and they did not win that fight. I was saying that earlier, like somebody was cheating, okay? It's coming back around where somebody um, bet, bet on the underdog or bet on the person that's supposed to win. This could be you or somebody else, and somebody throws a fight. I doubt it's y'all. And somebody happy and cheering and cocktail party. So some of y'all could be going somewhere. And um, the plan is to jump you or initiate you or put you into something for some of y'all. Or there's a fight that's going to break out at um, some get together. Be careful how much you drink and what you drink. That you see the pe uh, people are cheering. And, you know, birthday parties be going wrong. Possess a four pinnacle, four of cups. And we got the page of ones. I feel like you. it's good news for you, bad news for the other person is what I'm hearing, okay? Uh, but there is like um, somebody 44 and page of ones, yeah. Somebody checking y'all out. I feel like somebody has access to a window, mirror, or can see you, Pisces. Um, free spirit, though. Last advice for y'all. Queen of Pentacles, stay calm, cool, and collective. Queen of Swords, yeah, there's a divorce going on. or a, um, so Also, somebody could be getting divorced. Also, stay professional. And if you had the ability to negotiate something with the Queen of Swords and a, a Libra energy coming through, I feel like you're going to get a nice piece of the pie, okay? Uh, a lot of money or somebody got it. Your husband could be called cheating. He got to cash you out. No, pre, no prenuptial agreement or he fucking broke that shit. We got here Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody worried, the magician. Somebody worried that you about to get the last laugh. Whoever this Aquarius, Gemini, Aries is, or this Virgo. Why does it look like somebody didn't kill their spouse here, though? <laughs> I said last advice and the five of swords. Whoever this is that's in y'all reading, they are so fucking pissed off that they manipulation ain't worrying. Somebody is like worried and shit. All right, that you know the truth about them as well, or you're gonna expose them. 
all right, or you have enough evidence to send somebody ass straight to jail. I'm about to say you got enough information to send somebody ass straight to hell, okay? But the magician is saying that somebody is trying to manipulate y'all, but you the alchemy here or you the magician here, you, you hold all the shit in your hand. And you also have the communication on your side too, Pisces. So there could be text messages or there could be things that you should hold on to for now, don't delete shit if you can't or bag it up, okay? Bag up your computer because Mercury retrograde shit like to crash. So that could be the tower. Somebody could be trying to crash your computer, your phone, steal your shit because the evidence against their asses is like discriminating, okay? Very bad information here as well. So somebody like, oh shit, how can I take Pisces down? How can I get that information so I won't get um so I won't get in trouble? I won't go to jail. All right, so they want y'all to be aware of that and stuff. So if you can't start bagging up your phone, bagging up your stuff, or put it on an extra chip or something like that, people be watching for that shit too. Uh, memory chip, um, have a bag up and stuff. So if anything was to go wrong, you have evidence here is what they say. All right, guys, please drop a like, share, and comment. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.